now and over 20 shops in Sabon Zongo in the Ashanti regional capital of Kumasi have been raised by a fire Tuesday dawn. Investments worth thousands of Ghana cities have been lost in the inferno. Portions of the say to, to uh, the second international school was also not spared by the fire. Here's a report by uh, our correspondent Ibrahim Abubakar. Uh, he has been monitoring the event, who has been to the scene of the fire and reports. It's a sad Tuesday morning as fire has swept through over 20 shops here at Sabonzongo suburb of Kumase. Um, according to some of the victims, the fire started around 4.30 a.m. A lot of investment have been destroyed here. Several items including over 100 motorbikes, uh, maize, flour, um, sheep, goats and other items have completely been destroyed. Um, as you can see, the victims are trying to see whether they will be able to salvage some of their belongings. But clearly, over 90% of the structures have completely been raised down by the fire. Let's speak to some of the fire victims and find out from them um, what has actually happened and how much of investment they have lost through this fire. It's, it came as a result of um, some lights out that we experienced yesterday night. Yeah, it was coming on and off, on and off, and then most of our gadgets were being straight off. But later, later this morning, and we saw the ladies screaming, fire, 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 we should come out. Most of the men came out, but by then the fire had consumed most of the properties around. Uh, efforts were made to reach uh, fire service. They came, but that is what they could do. We can't fault anyone. What we can say is we thank the Almighty for, for what he has done. We didn't lose any life, and we also thank him. No one got hurt, but our valuables... Maybe he has a better way of replacing them. The shop, no, no, me, me, yeah, moto, juma, waha. And I'm saying, Tom, who pass. Now, how much you, Yana, or my friend, me say, or Honoma, a jatu, and I join by, you buy a shoe shop, and you know, motos, I see more than, more than 150 kura. A month for motos, woman, and me, and Cassano, dear, me, me, Tona, me, San Tom, who pass, and the Nina, she, and no, and yes, carby, bet me, actually. And we are going to try to be now. We discard our own Muslim women here, Miti, and we discard about two as Kanashi. Not only the shops were consumed by fire, but Class Three and KG One of the Osei to Two, the Second International School, um, have also been affected. Let's speak with one of the teachers here and find out um, how this destruction is going to affect them. It has destroyed the two classes both KG1 and class 3. So definitely it affects the academic from today maybe up to tomorrow. So we need help so that anyone who can help us to come our aid. The fire service has commenced investigation to unravel the exact cause of the fire. We will be speaking with the fire service to find out what they have gathered so far with regards to the investigations and bring you the update in our subsequent bulletin. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3, Sabon Zongo.